guys, Sergeant Boost here, back with another Killer Clowns from Outer Space video, and today, guys, I'm going to tell you how the best way to garner the most XP while you're playing Clown. So most of you guys know that, as of right now, the matchmaking is random, whereas you're going to be placed on the human side or the clown side, and you're obviously going to be chosen more human in this game right now, just because there's a bigger player pool on the human side, which means there's a more demand for players on that side. So when you do play clown, at least for me... I want to make the best use of playing the clown and get the most XP as humanly possible when I'm playing the clown because you don't know when you're going to get that chance, you know, right off the bat. Again, it could be three or four games before you get another clown game. So at this point, guys, I know the popcorn gun has been a topic of controversy over the past few days because it has been nerfed with the day one patch. Of course, it definitely needed it. It was super OP and we found out it was doing double the damage. But one thing is for sure, guys. This gun will not grant you a ton of kills right now, currently, with how it is, because it just does not do a lot of damage on its own, but it will bring in the XP, and it is the best gun in the game for the clowns to do that for you, which is why I like to use it. So if you're someone that's, you know, not overly concerned about getting a ton of kills in the match, but you do want to get that XP, you know, you want to level up, you want to unlock certain items, maybe you want to hit that level 100 for your trophy or achievement... This is the way to do it when you're playing Clown. Also, I recommend guys using a faster class as well. That way you can keep track of the humans and keep on their tail and keep landing as many shots as you possibly can. Because every shot here, as you guys can see, is 25 XP. And we can land these shots super quickly because the gun does reload super quickly. And one of the reasons why I wanted to use this video as a reference is because I was able to get two kills in this game. And we ended up with almost 19,000 points. And that is also with zero cocoons. As opposed to my teammate who got five kills in this game. Seven cocoons. And he only got about half of the XP as to what I got. As you guys can see, we're still racking up the XP. Just constantly popping these humans. Now, I do recommend also using the balloon dog to help you snuff out humans. Because you want to stay on humans as much as humanly possible with this class. So you can keep hitting, getting tracked. As you guys can see here, I'm kind of getting bullied by humans uh, a little bit. Because, mainly because I'm using the popcorn gun. And they know I can't kill them with it. I'm doing very minimal damage with it. Uh, if you are closer to them, though, you will do more damage. But still, it's not exactly suffice to get those kills. But... At this point in time in this game, we're worried more about XP than kills. But I'm going to let this match play out for a little bit, guys. Uh, you'll get to see the rest of it and at the end game screen of how much XP we got from this gun. Highly recommend if you are on an XP grind in this game and you're not doing like private matches or anything like that. You're just playing quick play and you get clown. You want that XP. Definitely use the popcorn gun. Use the balloon dog track the humans, and keep shooting them with a popcorn gun for the entire game. If you get the downs, sure, go ahead and cocoon them, get the kills, whatever you need to do there for more XP. But at the same time, keep shooting the popcorn gun, man. So it's not great for kills anymore, but it is definitely, definitely sufficient for XP. So let me know what you guys think about this video, man. Uh, we're just trying to figure out ways to maximize our XP in these matches, and this seems to be one of the best ways so far. But yeah, with that said, guys, we're going to let it play out. My name is Sergeant Moose. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you guys on the next one, man. Take care.